Hello everybody, welcome to Timber Wildlife TV. It's a uh, midwinter day. Uh, we're out here uh, just taking a walk through the woods. Um, thought it'd be a good uh, opportunity to kind of do some tree identification by bark only, because obviously we don't have no leaves being in the middle of the winter. So I thought it'd be a good chance to show you a few different trees um, and just to kind of tell you how to identify them just by their bark alone and give you a few little pointers that uh, maybe can help you if you're out, uh, whether it's during hunting season or, or just out on a walk that you can uh, identify some trees that maybe uh, you didn't know before. So uh, let's get started with this one here right behind me. This tree here is tulip tree. Uh, it's commonly called yellow poplar or tulip poplar. Those are a couple other names for the tree. Same, same species of tree. Uh, this particular tree is a state tree of Indiana. It is a state tree, I believe, of Kentucky, and I'm sure a few other states as well. So it is, is a real popular tree. can get really big in the woods, uh, grows pretty fast. But the bark of it is kind of a, just a medium brown. You'll have ridges here, and you'll always have uh, little grooves in between, and they usually run straight up and down. That's one thing about tulip tree. You will get a little bit of variations in them, but typically the, the grooves will run straight up and down along with the ridges. I'm going to show you one other little tip that you can look at on, in the winter time to, to uh, identify yellow poplar, tulip tree, tulip poplar, however you want to refer to it as. But usually on tulip tree they have little cones that have the seeds in them and then during the winter time, fall and winter, those cones will open up and they'll disperse the seed. It's usually dispersed by wind. But what will happen is, is in the treetops of the tree, you'll still have those cones hanging on to the limbs. So a lot of times if you look up at a tree, you can see something up there. It's like, okay, it looks like there's something there besides twigs. If it's got the looks like cones up there, then that's probably going to be tulip tree. So that's one characteristic of tulip tree. They hang on to those cones till probably get ready to leaf out in the spring. So, so that is one characteristic of tulip tree as far as just the top of the tree itself. But, uh, but this bark here is pretty typical of tulip tree bark. And uh, younger trees will have a little bit different coloration to them. The, the ridges and grooves won't be as, uh, as well defined, but as they get older and get some age to them, they'll look just like this. So this tree here is tulip tree. This tree here is pignut hickory. Now it can be a little bit difficult to identify them. It's usually has more narrow ridges than say a tulip tree does and the grooves in between are not as uh, as defined but a lot of times you'll get a diamond shaped pattern so you'll have that and it'll come over and down over and down so you'll get a diamond shaped pattern a lot of time on these ridges going through the bark so that's probably the easiest way to tell you identify pignut hickory from some other trees um, so this one can be tough uh, without the leaves on with just the bark but it is the bark is kind of tight. Uh, it's not a real uh, loose fitting bark. It feels like it's really tight on there. But uh, the diamond shaped pattern on the, uh, on the ridges of the bark, that's the best way to tell pignut hickory. Okay, I've come down the hill. I'm down in a little holler here and um, I've got another species of tree right in the bottom here. This tree is sycamore. It has a kind of a brown bark and it will kind of flake up as you go up the tree, but one characteristic of sycamore is a lot of the bark in, in the higher, upper part of the tree is almost white. So you'll have variations between some white bark and some brown bark, and uh, some of it will flake off. Uh, so that's one good identifying characteristic of sycamore. Usually you'll find sycamore in lower areas. It likes a lot of moisture. So like down in this little holler here or down in the bottom areas is, is, a, is a classic place to find sycamore. So I've got one here and I've got another one just behind me here on the point. So, so this species is sycamore. 